Hey guys, welcome to the video, Salt here. Today we're going to be going over the Companion, the Croissant Vulpophila. So Companions were, were reworked about two months ago, and that's why we've been going through a lot of the pets in the game, and we're going to continue this until we're done with all of the pets. So we're about halfway done now. We have the top commenter of the last video, Ryan the Wolf, 7823, and the first commenter of the last video, Montero Yu. And then we have our recent supporters of Johnny, Eddie, and Lovio. Thank you for your support. Okay, let's go into the croissant vulpophila. So, you know, croissants are not only a delicious breakfast sandwich, but they are also a pet in Warframe. It is one of the three types of vulpophilas. And uh, you always have to ask, well, what does this pet specialize in? Because a pet has to specialize in something for it to actually be useful. Otherwise, you would just place another pet that specializes in, in something else that's more useful. And for the croissant vulpophila, it is applying puncture procs uh, in mass, applying mass puncture procs. Now, unfortunately, with the addition of some new mods that also came out a couple months ago, we have uh, Protector Posture, which is a new mod that makes it extremely easy for Vulpophilas and Kivats to apply puncture all over the place, just spreading it like crazy. Uh, so that kind of eliminates a large purpose of why you would be using the Croissant Vulpophila, unfortunately. You know, of course, you can mix them together. You could use Protector Posture and the Croissant and maybe even get more Puncture Procs. But the thing is, is that Puncture Procs only stack to five the uh what we have been using with swipe and protector posture puts four on at a time so like you're almost at cap already so it's just it it, it doesn't combo very well i guess if puncture stacked to a higher amount maybe if it stacked to 10 it would make a little bit more sense to put both of those on um, but it doesn't it only stacks to five so uh, it's just it's kind of overshadowed by by just all of the kavats and vulpophilas being able to easily spread puncture procs now but we're going to still go over his build and i'm going to show how to build him out just for anyone that maybe this is your first pet maybe you started with it for some reason um i don't think that's possible i think you have to have a kubra first but maybe he's your second pet right and so i'm going to show you how to build it out anyway so let's go into the croissant here Okay, so there is one mod that is Vulpophila, Vulpophila specific, and that is for all three Vulpophilas. And then there are two mods that are Croissant Vulpophila specific. So let's go over Martyr Symbiosis first. This is the one that is usable on all three of the Vulpophilas. This is a little bit confusing. There's a lot to this mod, a lot more that is actually not said on the mod itself. And so I'm going to try to explain this. I'm going to read the mod first. Drains and stores 20 health from corpses within 25 meters, up to 40% of your health, and if your health falls below 10%, the companion downs itself to heal you. All right, now what it does not say is, along with that, you know, 40% of health with it healing you, it also gives you a one second in vulnerability. Now, the other thing it does not say is that, you know how it says where he sacrifices himself to heal you and give you that one second of invulnerability? Well, if the Vulpophila himself was invulnerable, then he will save himself from sacrificing himself, and he can continue to cast Martyr Symbiosis as long as he's invulnerable. And there are a few ways to get invulnerability on your uh, Vulpophila. There's like Tech Assault is a really good mod that gives four seconds of invulnerability. Loyal Companion is a, it's a pretty good mod. It, it actually like makes a, an appearance and it has like a good use on Vulpophilas really specifically. But Loyal Companion gives 10 seconds of invulnerability. Um, and then there's a few other things, you know, any kind of overguard generation for your pet, when that pops, it's going to give 0 0.5 seconds of invuln. So any kind of uh, invulnerability phases can save him from sacrificing himself and he's just going to keep pumping out those one second invulns on you uh, which is a really really powerful uh, combo for the vulpophilus to do but again that is all the vulpophilus so you can't really say you know this is croissant specific so let's go over the croissant specifics and we'll see how this breakfast sandwich uh, does here so let me type in croissant 
Okay. So we have two mods. We have Croissant Charge and Croissant Devolution. Now, if you notice, only one of these mods actually makes it on our build. It's Croissant Charge. Sorry, my, my little kitten is trying to jump on my legs here. Okay, so Croissant Charge. He's going to charge at an enemy within 25 meters, dealing puncture damage. He lifts them up, and while lifted, the enemy is flung at a nearby foe, dealing an additional 20% of the thrown enemy's health, and adding 5 puncture statuses to enemies within 5 meters. So he, he basically throws the enemy, and in a little 5 meter area, they all get 5 puncture procs. And if you remember what I said before, 5 puncture procs is cap. You can't go past that. Uh, that's why it's like not the best combo with the with what we were using for, for puncture uh, spreading. So it's a pretty good ability. I mean, it's a decent ability. Again, it just gets overshadowed by the new protector posture, basically, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. So, but it is good. So we, we keep it on the build here. Present charge. Now we're going to look at croissant devolution. Devolve into its larval form when downed and charges at enemies dealing 100 puncture damage and regains its true form after 30 seconds. Okay, so I have come to the conclusion that two different people actually worked on this mod. Someone worked on the art and the text, and then there was probably like a, a drunk unpaid intern that actually did the coding for this, because what actually happens is almost nothing that is said on the mod. So what actually happens is it does a forced impact proc. It only attacks three times in all of the 30 seconds. And that's about it. Like, it's completely, it's weird. It's super friggin' weird. Um, yeah, it, it <laughs> maybe it does puncture damage, but not the actual proc. But then it does a forced impact proc. I'm not really sure. Super friggin' weird. Not worth having on the build. It's a waste of a mod slot. So that's why we don't use Croissant Devolution there. Okay. So those are the specific croissant mods. That's the Mortar Symbiosis, which is the Vulpophila mod. And now we can go over the other mods on this build here. So we're going to be using Tech Assault, which is Kavat has a 60% chance to ignore lethal damage and be immune for four seconds. Uh, this combos incredibly well with Mortar Symbiosis. Uh, this allows that kind of like chaining of Mortar Symbiosis one second in Vulns on you. Sometimes, you know, sometimes uh, he won't get lucky here. This is only a chance that he ignores uh, lethal damage and becomes immune. Croissant Charge, we already went over. Loyal Companion. Oh, this is a fun one here. When your health falls below 35%, you gain 75% damage reduction for 10 seconds, while your companion becomes invincible and draws fire to itself for 10 seconds. 60 second cooldown. That's the really unfortunate thing with Loyal Companion. It has a really, really long cooldown. But this is a 10 second invuln where in that time he could be pumping out these one second invulns to your Warframe. So really, really powerful combo for Vulpophila specifically. And if you watched the Panzer build yesterday, uh, it's hard to fit Loyal Companion on. You have to like basically put it in a, in a flex slot if you can make room for it. Like there are some people that don't want to run Primed Animal Instinct. So like on the Panzer build, you really have to be like putting Loyal Companion over one of these flex slots here. On the Croissant though, because we're not using both of the Croissant uh, specific mods, we're only using one of them, we have easy room for Loyal Companion. All right, Primed Animal Instinct. Now... My opinion on Primed Animal Instinct is that it is mandatory. I always run with Primed Animal Instinct, um, but a lot of people do not like uh, Primed Animal Instinct. They they just don't run it, and that's okay. If if you're one of those people, then this this could be considered a flex slot. You could put anything here. We have Contagious Bond next. When your companion kills an enemy afflicted with status effects, fifty percent of the status effect spreads to other enemies within nine meters. So this is a very good status spreader. Duplex Bond is next. Duplex Bond is, is similar to Contagious, where it's just also really good at status spreading. So Companion will clone itself each time you spend 100 energy up to three clones. Clones live 30 seconds and can't use abilities, and their kills have a 50% chance of dropping energy orbs. So you get these little three clones. They're going around. They're whacking things. They're applying statuses themselves. The only thing they can't do is they can't use like the Crescent Charge ability, which is completely fine. So Duplex Bond and Contagious Bond are just super, super solid uh status spreaders 
specifically for pets who can actually kill because there are some like pets that suck at killing they're more utility based and these aren't good on those pets but on Vulpophilas and, and a lot of the companions this is a really good combo okay next we have tenacious bond now tenacious bond is amazing it's a 1.2 crit damage multiplier for your warframe weapons that go that goes on your pet so that that's an amazing uh thing the only uh, thing is, that you have to consider is that not all Warframes are weapons Warframes. Some Warframes are ability spammers, and so, some of those ability spammers are just going to be using their abilities. Uh, maybe they don't scale off of crit damage, and so there's really no point at that, uh, uh, at that point to use Tenacious Bond. So if you're using one of those ability spamming Warframes that are basically getting like all of their kills out of abilities, you might not want to use Tenacious Bond, and you could use any, you, you can consider this a flex slot. I'm sorry, I'm uh, kind of stuttering a lot today. <laughs> All right, we have Synth Deconstruct next here. Enemies injured by the Companion have a 25% chance to drop a health orb when killed. So this combos uh, incredibly well with the mod Equilibrium for Warframes. And it also is helpful if you just need more health. Maybe you just need health orbs. And so that's why you would use Synth Deconstruct. If neither of those two re things are true for you, if you're not using Equilibrium and you don't need extra health, then uh, you can consider this a flex slot as well. Okay, and then fetch. Fetch is what scoops your loot up for you. So, my little kitten is trying to touch the microphone. All right. So, I got a new kitten, and she's very inquisitive. She wants to be up here while I'm doing my, my videos. Okay, let's go over Crescent Claws next. All right, now I want to talk about the postures and... Uh, a little bit like the unfortunate thing with protector posture so protector posture is a new mod that came out or actually all of these postures are new but protector posture is one of the the new mods and this is your companion will prioritize attacking enemies within 15 meters of the warframe attacks inflict four puncture procs puncture procs are five percent final critical uh buffs and they could stack up to a maximum of five, so 25% final critical at max. But a lot of times with Kavats and Vulpophilas, um, this is a really good choice because you just get like crazy spreading because Kavats and Vulpophilas can use Swipe, which turns their basic attacks from hitting one dude into hitting five dudes. And those basic attacks carry everything over. They carry over the Force proc procs from Protector Posture, and they carry over the Force procs from Bell Ringer Magnetic Strike. So Swipe is really powerful uh, for this combo, but also for Protector Posture. Now, again, the whole reason, like the whole thing behind this pet is kind of his little niche of putting Puncture on, on things. So, and because Puncture only stacks to five and because the uh, his uh, Croissant Charge like puts a whole five stacks on, I mean, you could use Protector Posture. He'd probably spread it to some enemies that aren't hit already, and you'd probably have like a more consistent time with puncture procs, but you're also going to be just over puncturing a lot of times. He's going to be trying to put puncture procs on things that are already maxed. And so I think for that reason, we, we don't use protector posture on this pet because we're assuming that he's getting the puncture from his uh, regular attacks, or not his regular attacks, sorry, his uh, percent charge. And instead, we're just going to go with the old standby of assassin posture. So assassin posture is also incredibly good because... The Bell Ringer Magnetic Strike combo makes your pet do magnetic. Assassin Posture makes your pet specifically target Eximuses that have Overguard that is weak to magnetic. And so that's why it makes sense uh, for a lot of pets. Um, the other thing I was going back and forth a lot yesterday about with the Panzer build was Elusive Posture. Um, I, I was going back and forth with you know, would this make the build worse or would it make it better? It would make your pet more survivable, but it may not trigger those invulnerability phases for your pet as often. Uh, like, especially with Tech Assault, with him receiving lethal damage. So, it's it, it's super confusing. I would probably have to sit in the simulacrum and let my character, like, die multiple times to see, like, how often the average was that... Uh, I got like the one second invuln with elusive posture on or with protector or assassin posture on. So, but you could, I guess, consider elusive posture a 
option. I just have not done that math yet to see if elusive posture would be hurting you by by maybe triggering tech assault less often. Okay, so we're going to go with assassin posture for now here. So we have bite for crit chance and crit damage. Maul for melee damage. Precision conditioning for melee damage. Burning claws for 330 heat and 330 status chance, and it converts all your elements to, to heat. Uh, also with the claw mod, consider if you want to proc Archon Stretch, consider using Shocking Claws to proc Archon Stretch. So, but if you don't care about Archon Stretch, or if you just want maximum DPS, you would use Burning Claws. Especially with Assassin Posture, because this is going to make him specifically target Eximuses. Eximuses, a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times will be the ones that have armor. And so uh, the partial strip from heat is is further helping you on killing those Eximuses. All right, we have the bottom row here. So we have Hunter Synergy. This is plus 30% primary weapon critical chance added to your companion. So this is going to be dependent on your primary weapon. I'm using a Grokata right now, which is a very middle weapon. It has average critical chance. And with an average weapon, I'm sitting at 119% critical chance on the Crescent Claws. So this is really dependent on your weapon. If you're using a weapon that has complete garbage critical chance, you may not want to use Hunter Synergy. You may use one. You may want to use something else at that point. All right, swipe. We kind of went over already. This turns your basic attacks from hitting one to hitting five, and it gives them extra range too. And then we have the Bell Ringer Magnetic Strike combo. Melee attacks knock down enemies and apply four impact status effects. And then magnetic strike is a 100% chance to apply magnetic proc when inflicting an impact status effect. So those four impacts will turn into four magnetics. All right. And that's how you build out the croissant claws. And that's how you build out the uh, croissant vault phyla. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the simulacrum and I'm just going to show off his croissant charge and show what he does. The multitude of creatures you have immortalized would cry out in thanks. It's pretty basic. He he lifts a dude up, which is also unique. There's not a lot of things in the game that actually produce the lifted status. There's a lot of things that look like they should produce the lifted status, but if you actually um, look up lifted status and see the things that actually do it, there's like a very select amount of things. So, I mean, that that's a super niche, but it's, it's only to the one dude he's actually lifting up. So let's uh, spawn a bunch of dudes in here. You'll see he's going to run to a dude. He's going to lift him up. And he's going to toss him. Maybe. Come on, lift him up. Are you like stuck because are you messed up because you're behind there? Come on, not for the video. Not for the video, Cerberus. There we go. See how we threw him into these guys and now they have a bunch of uh, puncture procs on them. Uh, again, it's not as it's not as consistent of a puncture spreader as just swipe with protector posture, unfortunately. But mixing the two is is a little bit overkill. It kind of like removes the entire purpose behind uh, behind it. So it's a little bit weird. It's, it's kind of up to you. Again, I I feel like he at least serves a purpose, but that purpose is completely overshadowed by a new mod. So it's just an unfortunate thing. And then that's the croissant vulpophila. Now tomorrow we have the sly vulpophila. Um, I really, I in the past I have done a lot of testing on the sly because I thought the sly really could be like the next Panzer and like everyone would be using it. But last time I tried to make a sly vulpophila build, it turned out that like all of the stuff on it was bugged and messed up and it didn't work as it like said on the mod. And so I'm hoping maybe that's not the case. Maybe tomorrow when I do the deep dive into the Sly, I'll be like happily surprised that they have gone through and they've like, you know, fixed the Sly's mods and maybe he's amazing, but I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> so if you guys like the video, if you like the croissant vulpophila, or if you just like breakfast sandwiches, make sure you give this a like. And if you haven't subbed yet, consider subbing or tell me what I can do to earn your sub. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. All right. Bye.